Geleceğe doğru doğru adım. İstanbul Medipol Üniversitesi. Hello, welcome our dear international students. Welcome to live stream. Today we are in South Campus with Assistant Professor Neda Tener, School of Pharmacy. Welcome, Miss. Thank you, thank you for your invitation. Uh, I'm here to answer your questions. Okay, if you are ready, we can start. Okay, First, can start. what kind of education awaits the candidates who consider studying pharmacy at Istanbul Un Medipol University? Uh, a very nice and comprehensive questions. Uh, we have uh, last year our faculty uh, started and included a, bil a bilingual uh, program. And you know, most of the students choose Medipol University and uh, School of Pharmacy uh, because of its environment and atmosphere and social interaction between professors and students. And also Medipol has equipped and modern classrooms and uh, good uh, technologies and laboratories. You know, uh, as a mission and aim and uh, subjects and uh, objectives of Istanbul Medical University School of Pharmacy, we are going to train uh, pharmacists who are responsible in all phases of uh, drug travel to the delivery to the patients. And of course, they are very uh, pay attention and who are pay attention to the pharmaceutical care. In the first two years, we have a pre-medical uh, education. And in the third and fourth years, we are uh, more train our students uh, professional uh, lectures, such as medicinal uh, chemistry, pharmacognosy, clinical pharmacy, and etc. Of course, in all four years, we have mandatory and voluntary, uh, you know, uh, internship program. And our curriculum is very um, f flexible, you know, flexible to the programs that, uh, you know, like, for example, Erasmus program, uh, inter bilateral agreement with variety universities. At the last year, uh, we have, you know, we, ha we are five years uh, education, we have five year education, and the, at the last year, we have elective uh, lectures and internship in uh, so many fields such as hospital, academic, and industry, and retail. Mm -hmm. Also, uh, you know, we have REMER in our university, Regenerative and Restorative uh, Medicine Research Center, and our faculty members and students uh, take uh, part in that courses too. Okay, thank you. Now we are moving to the second question. You have been entitled to full accreditation for six years. What is the importance of an accreditation in pharmacy education? Yes, Istanbul Medical University School of Pharmacy was uh, accepted to full accreditation on uh, 25 January 2019. And we are very happy and glad for that. You know, it's not very important to be accredited. The important thing, I think, is that the process of uh, accreditation team is a step, uh, you know, the evaluation of they do, is a step that we uh, take us to the further. And it's very important for us because they evaluate all academic staff, uh, you know, faculties, education, envi physical environment, and all of this. Okay, okay, thank you. Now we are moving to the third question. Could you please tell us about the projects you have developed at your our university? The drug that is used in the COVID-19 treatment has been synthesized here at Istanbul Medipol University. What would you like to say? Yes, our faculty member take part in a project that we lead, led by professor of our university. Uh, that uh, which is carried out to uh, reduce, you know, uh, foreign dependency against COVID-19. And this project was supported by Tubitak and Atabaikimia and also with uh, the others. Uh, now currently this research is uh, followed by other departments too. Uh, 
you know that uh, COVID-19 uh, pushed us to find new active ingredients against uh, bacteria and viruses. Thank you again. Now we are moving to the next question. What can you tell about the importance of postgraduate education in pharmacy? Do you also offer masters and doctorate programs in pharmacy? I think uh, we need uh, postgraduate scientific pharmacists because you know uh, there is very important to have postgraduate education in lots of fields. If a person, a pharmacist, wants to improve in an, a research and development in industry or uh, wants to be an academic, she or he should continue uh, to have postgraduate education. And in our faculty, in our university, we have two uh, post education. One of them is clinical pharmacy and the other one is pharmacognosy. We have seven years for, uh, you know, uh, this program has been given for seven years clinical pharmacy and two years for pharmacognosy program. Yeah. Okay, thank you so much. Yeah. And now we are moving to last question. Lastly, what would you say about the future of pharmacy profession? What are the working areas for graduate of the School of Pharmacy? Yes, again, it's a good question because uh, you know that it's undeniable that pharmacy always has been a highly respect, respectful uh, profession and uh, pharmacists are one of the main health practitioner you know uh, i think that there is not only uh, be in retail and uh, work in uh, pharmacy it's not the option only option uh, pharmacists can do and in lots of fields for example if uh, one person, one pharmacist wants, like me, to be an academic, he can pursue academic career and become academic. Or if a person wants to work in industry, uh, for example, in a pharmacovigilance or, or R&D research and development in industry, or uh, we can say in logistic, again, they can work. And we have some specialist um, you know, uh, fields such as clinical pharmacy and hospital pharmacy, like geriatric pharmacy, pediatric pharmacy, nutritional, and etc. If our students, but I want to tell that if our students want to improve and have a good and better position, they should uh, uh, improve their English and computer programs, and they can be have a good, uh, better position in all the fields that uh, they want. Okay, thank you so much for answering for this question and it was a great pleasure to have you here. Thank you, Thank you too. again. You're and welcome. thank you for watching us. See you tomorrow again. Okay.